The most important reason for air pollution control is to protect public health. Air quality standards are intended to protect the health of the most susceptible and vulnerable individuals. Children, pregnant women, and the elderly, including those with pre-existing lung, heart, or other medical conditions, are more susceptible to the health effects of air pollution. Total air pollution exposures are not born equally. Black, Latino, Native American, and Pacific Islander populations represent 89% of the population that live in California communities most impacted by environmental pollution as defined by Cal EnviroScreen, while the population in the least impacted communities is 72% white. There are two ways health effects are evaluated in terms of how long air pollution exposures last. The first is short-term or acute health effects from immediate exposures. The second are long-term or chronic effects that may last for years. Acute and chronic exposures may occur at the same time. Both types of effects may be compounded by working outdoors and living near sources of air pollution such as industrial facilities or roadways. Chronic health effects of air pollution take more time to develop and may not be reversible, whereas acute health effects of air pollution may improve if exposure is reduced. Ambient fine particle air pollution is known as PM2.5. Exposure to PM2.5 is the largest environmental cause of human mortality. The health effects of exposure to particulate matter differ based upon the size of the particles and whether the exposure is short-term or long-term. Small particles can get deeper into the lungs and may even enter the bloodstream and affect the heart and other organs. Health effects from short-term exposure to particulate matter include increased severity of a pre-existing heart condition and worsening of asthma and allergy symptoms. Health effects from long-term exposure to particulate matter include increased risk of heart attack and heart disease, impaired lung function development in children, the development and worsening of asthma, and death. Long-term exposure to particulate matter has also been linked to lung cancer. Symptoms of ground-level ozone including coughing, worsening asthma symptoms, and damage to lung tissue. People who have pre-existing respiratory problems may experience increased severity of their symptoms, possibly leading to premature death with repeated long-term exposure. People who exercise or work outside during periods of high ozone are more likely to develop symptoms. PM2.5 and ozone are two of a small number of air pollutants for which national ambient air quality standards exist. There are also toxic air contaminants for which there is either no safe level or no level has yet been established. The California Air Resources Board has identified over 200 toxic air contaminants many of which are carcinogenic. Exposure to air toxics may result in both short and long-term health effects. Reducing greenhouse gas and air pollutant emissions and reducing exposure to air pollutants is the goal of the California Air Resources Board and the state's 35 air districts.